Oh my God, guys, they did it. They did it. The Canadian men's national team have qualified for the FIFA World Cup this November, December in Qatar. The first time in almost 40 years since the Canadian men's national team will be going to the World Cup. It's massive. And in this video, I'm gonna break down why they exactly qualified for the World Cup. Hey guys, I'm Curtis and you're watching my channel AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian soccer related right here on YouTube. So if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. All right, so there's, it, it's huge. This is huge news because the Canadian men's national team for years, they just kept losing and losing and losing and losing and sometimes a draw and then a loss and then a loss and they were not just losing the US they're not just losing to Mexico they're losing to like Haiti and Honduras and and even smaller smaller very small CONCACAF nations that we should be beating at the very least and let's not be humble here Canadian soccer fans we should be beating some of these CONCACAF minnows we're not a minnow we shouldn't have been and yet we were for quite a few years and I grew up watching that and I just hated it at one point I was like I don't even know why I bother I don't even know and I think that was pretty much everyone that followed the Canadian men's national team for a lot of years but over the last three four five years even there's been this this youth movement this movement you got John Herdman you're just like all of a sudden we everything started started finding finally lining up there for the Canadian men's national team and now they don't just have good personnel on the bench on they don't just have good personnel at on the field you know in the head office there but we just put it all together and we got some wins and now we're starting to pick up momentum and you can feel it as we're marching toward the FIFA World Cup now I'm in this video, I'm going to be breaking down for you guys three main reasons why I think they qualified for the World Cup out of this final qualification uh, window here. So let's get started. For the, so for the first thing I noticed is a team environment here. Um, this team, the Canadian men's national team, they win as a team. They don't revolve necessarily around a star or another star. Just like, for example, last couple of years, I remember watching games with Portugal, for example, and you kind of felt like it all really revolved around Cristiano. Now I know he's also a massive generational talent maybe that's why and I don't think even his prime Davies or David will be at the level of Cristiano Ronaldo but still those two guys are gonna be major superstars in world football and this Canadian men's national team they don't revolve around those two guys I mean they win and they can win without those guys look at them last summer in the, in the CONCACAF Gold Cup for example so this is a team win all the time this team wins together they lose together get draws together but at least they do it together as a team not revolving around one or two pieces the next one here is offense is a flowing and uh, I'm talking about it's amazing their highest scoring team this is a fun exciting high scoring Canada team I believe in 2021 they're the most highest scoring uh, national team in world men's world football I mean that's incredible to begin with and and over the last couple of months th th they're so exciting I remember I, I talked at the beginning of the video here about growing up watching Canadians men national team and they would always lose but they're also boring to watch then because there was no offense there was no excitement to this attack um, back then nowadays it's completely completely 180 it's flipped it's ridiculous how different that is now you got Kyle Lahren that can score you got Davies David Buchanan's coming up and scoring goals I mean everybody is scoring goals here and that's it's a beautiful thing to watch again it's a team environment that wins like I just touched on but it's also they score as a team everybody is scoring goals and because of that this is a high octane offensive team uh, you shut down one player another one or two players are gonna get free and score on you I mean that's just how it is now the Canadian men's national team they also have the biggest goals against difference um, or goal differential, I should say, sorry, uh, in the CONCACAF uh, final round of qualifying here for the World Cup. Um, as of this video, it's by five. That's a huge margin compared to the second best goal differential in uh, this CONCACAF competition here. So that's something I don't think has ever happened in my lifetime for sure for the Canadian men's national team. So this is definitely a different team and this is a team that deserves to be where they're at and be in that World Cup. All right, so the final point here is points over the Giants. It's one thing to win against the Minnows, which they were kind of doing in the 18-19 qualifying and even the 19-20 season a bit qualifying um, before this final qualifying stage this year, this winter here. They're beating those lower level to even kind of mid-level CONCACAF teams. And that's great in the rebuild and all, you know, that gives you confidence. You know, they start bagging goals, start really getting a lot of those wins. That's great for confidence, like I said, and to get that swagger back for this men's national team. Um, 
But the huge plus here is that they're winning games against the big boys, against Mexico and US in particular, the two countries that are always considered the two best in CONCACAF, the two that are the golden childs, the giants of CONCACAF, uh, the teams that pretty much always qualify for the World Cup every year and can compete in the World Cup, at least out of the group stages into the knockout stages. And now we're there, we're competing with them. And this, this window here has proven that we are now among the very best in CONCACAF, the Canadian men's national team, right where I think they belong is in that top three spot with the US and Mexico. And I think they can do it. And I think they're doing it right now and they're proving it to us each and every time they step out on that pitch. They're playing against the best the last couple of months in CONCACAF has to offer. And they've beaten them or got draws against them and then beaten them the next game. I mean, it's, it's fun. And they're getting those huge wins against those teams. And that even just further pads the overall conclusion everybody in Canada and beyond now has in world football is that the Canadian men's national team are for real and they are going to qualify for that World Cup. Did I miss anything? Did you guys notice anything too that was crucial over the last couple of months here that got Canada, the men's national team here to the World Cup in 2022? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course guys, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up, that like button shows me like content just like this. And of course, if you wanna see more content just like this, definitely hit that red subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this. Great video about Canadian men's national teams. More of that's coming up this year as well as, of course, my continuation of the CPL uh, coverage here leading up to the start of the season. We're so close to the start of the CPL season. I'm excited for my season preview video coming up. I'm gonna film that pretty soon. Uh, and I would like to tell you guys too, I really appreciate the support and the support that I'm sure is gonna come this season. And uh, I really appreciate too, if you guys can share this video with any friends, family, or Canadian men's national team, uh, just fans. So I uh, appreciate you guys' support and I'll see you guys next week.